my name is Kelsey and I am doing a cooking video for you today. So today we're going to make a peanut butter brownie in a mug. So this is a great way to ease your sweet tooth without having to make a full batch of brownies. Um, for today's recipe, you'll need a microwave safe mug, 12 ounces or larger is what I recommend. So you can see my mug's fairly large. Um, the, the brownie itself will rise up and we'll be cooking this in the microwave. You'll also need a fourth cup of sugar. So I have my ingredients pre-measured out here for us. A fourth cup of flour. A pinch of salt, so I just have my salt shaker here. And uh, two tablespoons of cocoa powder. As well as two tablespoons of vegetable oil in here. And um, a fourth cup of water. and a tablespoon of peanut butter. Um, now, if you are allergic to peanut butter or just don't like it, you can substitute in this recipe with like Rolo candies or like an almond butter if you prefer that. Either of those options can work and um, just the plain brownie itself is just, just as good so you don't even have to add anything. So that's optional. A fourth, a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla, and then some other kitchen tools beside of, besides our mug that we'll be using is a um, fork to mix. So the first thing we're going to do to make this brownie is add our dry ingredients together. So that's gonna include your fourth cup of flour into our mug here, your two tablespoons of cocoa powder, the fourth cup of sugar, and your pinch of salt. So I'm just gonna give it a couple shakes, three shakes here of salt. And we're just going to stir that together with our fork. So we we'll just, you can see it kind of mixing the flour, the sugar, the cocoa powder, and the salt. And it's making kind of like a light brown powdery material. So that's good. So mix it together with your fork. Make sure you get all the chunks broken out. If your sugar is a little chunky like mine is, um, that's okay. It'll taste just as good. I don't mind a little extra chunk of sugar when I'm biting into something. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding in those wet ingredients. So we're going to add in our oil, our two tablespoons of vegetable oil. We're also going to add in our water. That's a fourth cup of water. And then finally, I don't have it measured out, so I do have a four teaspoon here. So it's a small, small measuring um, for our vanilla. So we're doing a fourth teaspoon of vanilla to add that in here. Okay, and so once we have all of those together, we're going to stir that into our dry ingredients that we mixed. So you can see the liquids now in here. Oops, I'm gonna pour it out of my cup without mixing it. Um, and we're just gonna mix it in. It's gonna make that liquidy brownie batter. Smells good, smells nice and chocolatey, delicious. Try to get all the clumps out and, you know, get to the different sides of your mug and scrape with your fork as you're mixing it. And just till you, till it's well mixed in there to the chocolatey syrupy look. And then you're gonna kind of tap your fork, tap off any excess liquid, and you're gonna take your tablespoon of peanut butter or almond butter or other nut butter or um, your Rolos, and you're just gonna plop them right into the center of the mixture. You're gonna plop it right into the center and you're gonna just kind of tap it to push it down in there so it gets covered by the batter. Just like that. 
And if you have some extra, you can just kind of plop it on top of there. And the same thing, Just I'm just using my fork to help me get my peanut butter off. Okay, so now we're ready. And what we're going to do is we're gonna take our brownie batter and we're gonna plop it into the microwave. So my microwave's right above me here and I'm going to put it for one minute of cook time. And we're gonna let that, that do its thing and cook. So while it's cooking, um, it is going to expand. So that was the purpose of a, of a larger mug and the need of that for this recipe. And um, we're just gonna give it the minute while it cooks and then it will be done and ready for us to enjoy. While it's cooking, you can get your things over into the sink or the dishwasher. Um, it really is a minute of time before you get to enjoy, so it's very quick. Now with these, it is a single serve item, so you enjoy it all in one setting. You won't really have leftovers, but should you not be able to enjoy it all, um, you could probably save this in the microwave for maybe a day. Uh, just in your mug, put some saran wrap over it and you could reheat it a little in the microwave just to kind of get it nice and warm and gooey again. So, um, but I would recommend just eating it. It's best when it's warm and fresh out of the, the microwave. So it's finished here. And before you go touching it, it will be hot. So get your, your um, protective mittens to lift it out of the microwave. And you lift it out and you can see it's gooey and good. And so it is gooey when you pull it out. I'm actually going to sit it on one of these hot pads. And so if you like that gooey consistency, you can dive right in and eat it right away. And if you don't, then you can let it sit for about five minutes and it'll kind of stiffen up more like a cake or a traditional brownie feel to it. Um, so that's your choice. But we have our brownie in a mug. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.